Good morning to you live here from BMO Field for the Toronto Argonauts game. It's the half last week episode 183. Let's go! Welcome me, my fellow two walkers, to another episode of Laugh from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on, I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So after a fun night catching the Jays game with my buddy Jason, thanks again bro for bringing me out yesterday evening. I was able to get a decent sleep in last night before just chilling at the condo editing some live from last week videos all day. Relaxing prior to going in for one single night shift tonight. But guys, before I go in, I just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my San Miguel SMIOA friends that I made going to a gala in Chicago several years back. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Bayal. Happy birthday, Bayal. We also got a birthday greeting to one of my high school friends who I remember playing soccer and basketball with back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you Dalton. Happy birthday Dalton. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. After another busy, constant, and stressful night shift last night, I went to the grocery store to buy some breakfast. Seeing that these specially marked boxes had a free beach towel mail-in giveaway on them. As long as you bought two boxes of cereal. So once I got home, I took a picture of my receipt. Filled out an online form. And hopefully I'll be able to update you guys on my free beach towel cereal box giveaway sometime in the near future. Anyways, today, getting in a post-night shift nap of only about three hours, I was very inclined to go to the Rogers Center this afternoon to get the Blue Jays game giveaway of the Bobachette bobblehead. But unfortunately, guys, without buying any tickets yet and actually experiencing what it's like to be in the middle of Toronto's rush hour traffic, I conceded to the fact that I wouldn't make it to the Rogers Center in time to get my free bobblehead. So instead, I decided to make a stop close by to the dome, meeting up for the first time since we last saw them here, visiting the condo of my former co-worker Sydney, getting a tour of her rooftop pool deck here, lounging and catching up a little bit while munching on some Twizzlers by the poolside. Next, after picking up the wife downtown from her day shift, I had a quick look at the Too Good To Go app to see what exactly to have for dinner, going to the Adelaide and Victoria area, to the local Sultan's Mediterranean Grill, getting a couple of takeout surprise boxes, bringing them home to unveil some delicious food, of which the wife and I not only thought looked good, but had tasted pretty amazing as well. But anyways guys, before we wrap it up for the night, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends who I met last year at a night beach volleyball event last Halloween. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Michelle. Happy birthday, Michelle. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. After trying to catch the sunset yesterday evening, but having a dark cloud slash thunderstorm in our foreground blocking the view, I was luckily able to catch up on some rest with more than eight hours of sleep last night. So that meant that this afternoon I was well rested enough to go to a mall that I haven't been to in over two years. 
going here to Sherway Gardens to visit an Italian place called Italy, meeting up with the one and only sister-in-law to buy several ingredients for them to make a homemade Italian dinner tonight. Of which, after looking at the wines in the wine section here, with these Chianti classical labels, reminded me of our wine tasting travels to Italy just last year. And speaking of Italy, with the 2024 Euro Cup happening at this time, I got to the Saga House to catch the crucial group stage match between Spain and Italy with a couple of these highlights of the game. The wife was also in a popping bottles mood while cooking with Jolene and Jersey. Fight, fight, go. Woo! To Italian night. Hey! Oh! <laughs> Making some of these drinks for us to enjoy while I waited patiently editing some videos this afternoon until this glorious feast of Italian food was prepared for us to eat for dinner. And after we were full of all this delicious food, post meal it was time to watch the opening match of the Copa America 2024 tournament where the team that my buddy Ramez and I would always watch and support whenever they had matches at BMO Field in the past. Team Canada was facing the World Cup champions, Leo Messi and the Argentinian football team. And guys, this game was actually closer than I thought it would be, going pretty much back and forth in terms of chances, with me being a little bit stressed out while Watching it? Oh my gosh. Yeah, what a save! To the point where my heart rate, as you guys can see, was elevated beyond normal levels. But all in all, tonight, the best team in the world had shown its quality, with the Argentinians defeating Canada in their opening match by the score of 2 to nothing. Anyways guys, before we call it a night, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my former co-workers who travels the world and who I always greet. Hi Lisa Lynn! This birthday shout out goes out to you Lisa! Happy birthday Lisa! We next got a birthday shout out to one of my family friends who you guys remember I competed against during Faye and Justin's baby shower. This birthday shout out goes out to you Rob! Happy birthday Rob! And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my coworkers who you guys remember me traveling to Mexico with for Josie's wedding. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Nat. Happy birthday, Natalie. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So first of all, I want to welcome y'all to the first full day of summer. Happy summer guys! And happy longest day of the year! So today chilling at the Saga house watching reruns of previous Live From Last Week episodes with the wife as well as reviewing previous episodes that contained my Ecuador trip so that the wife can tell these stories to the sister-in-law I welcomed the mother-in-law from her work trip to Montreal in the rain earlier. I got, I got, I got the umbrella for you. <laughs> okay, welcome back. Before sharing with the family this big feast of pizza and wings. With some of the Italian wine that we were supposed to have with our Italian dinner from last night. Then, after hearing that one of the cars needed their cabin air filter changed because of mysterious sound coming from behind the glove box, recalling what I learned from one of my previous oil changes at the shop, I slowly had taken the old air filter out, which looked like it had been chewed out by the local neighborhood squirrels, and I exchanged it with this new one here and had the sister-in-law turn on the engine to make sure that that mysterious noise from behind the glove box had 
disappeared. Then, when we got inside, we watched some more Euro 2024 soccer action this afternoon before driving down here to the Lakeshore area this evening and checking out one of the most beautiful sunsets that you can see from this vantage point before doing a quick birthday shout out for the day which goes to one of my former co-workers who I attended a Blue Jays game with in the past and who I miss working alongside with at the hospital. This birthday shout out goes out to you Marlene. Happy birthday Marlene. I'm hoping that at this time you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But now to wrap it up for the evening, we're gonna head back to the Queen Street West area to catch this month's Super Kicked Wrestling event, which they'd like to call Super Kicked Kings in the Six. So guys, last night I heard some bad news. Recalling when I last visited here with the little sister and Andrew a while back. And although having a yearly membership to visit anytime I wanted, I got no with concerns of the delicate roof infrastructure here that our beloved Ontario Science Center has closed immediately and indefinitely. And guys, it's actually so sad because this place brings me many memories of going on field trips to the Science Center when I was younger, of which we will never ever be able to visit again. But on to better and more exciting news. Last night's super kicked wrestling event was actually pretty fun to go to with a couple of these highlights from yesterday evening being some of my favorites. Anyways, today, once again, just staying in at the Saga House, binge watching many and many more matches of the Euro 2024 Soccer Championships. I went to the local Chu Chow Man Chinese restaurant to play Uber delivery driver, picking up some delicious Chinese food for the family, as well as in the pouring Mississauga rain, be an Uber driver for the sister-in-law, so that she could catch her gold bus back to the Waterloo area. And when I returned to the Saga house afterwards, I was surfing on Facebook and to my surprise, I saw that there was a generous fellow Argo fan that was unable to utilize his tickets for tonight's game. So what did I do? I of course inquired with them and I'm now able to use their tickets on their behalf. 
thanks again for letting me use your tickets, James. And know that the next time you're at an Uggles game and I am also there, you won't have to worry because your first drink is on me. Now, before we enter BMO Field and actually enjoy the Argos game tonight... Ooh, ooh, the Argos just scored! <laughs> Hear that in the background? <laughs> we just have a quick birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends who I know since back in our Mother Teresa days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Maggie. Happy birthday, Maggie. And we got a birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball slash indoor volleyball friends who I've played alongside with in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Elizabeth. Happy birthday, Elizabeth. I'm hoping that everybody has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, that wraps it up for today's segment. So let's now go into BMO Field to catch some highlights from the Argos versus the Edmonton Elks. So, with a fun time at the Argos game last night, where I was able to pay it forward and use my second ticket from that free pair that I got from fellow Argos fan James, for a guy outside the box office from out of town whose StubHub ticket wasn't working, my new buddy Kendrick from San Fran, welcoming him to Toronto with a couple of Mill Street beers. Yo, Kendrick! Oh, yeah, yo. Yeah, yeah. Big tourist vibes, baby. Yeah. It's official, man. Yo. Hey, go Orange. Go Orange. Go Argos. <laughs> Who was actually also a former NCAA Division I football player at the game to support one of his former college teammates, current Argo David Unger, and seeing this interaction when we were able to get David's attention from the sidelines. <laughs> <laughs> I want an autograph! I want an autograph! Hey man! Hey man! You might get away, wait, man! My dog, man! Hey, I got the whole, you know, first Argo game, man! Yes, sir! I'll let you know if I stay after. Alright, good job. Anyways, it was a great time meeting you, Kendrick. Alrighty, one, two, three. And I'm wishing you nothing but the best for the rest of your stay here in Toronto. But yeah, back to the game where the Argos pulled out the W on a game-winning field goal at the end of the fourth quarter. That's gonna be that's gonna be fun. Yeah. Up and watch up on the line. I was able to have several interactions of me handing out high fives to several players of the winning team. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Great game, boys. Great game, boys. Woo! <laughs> Including Kendrick's buddy here, the aforementioned David Auger. But yeah, post game feeling a little bit hungry, I decided to check out the too good to go out for the second time this week and saw that there was a local pizza shop selling six slices for the price of under eight bucks. So I went to Vito's Pizza and Wings in Mississauga, brought this haul home to the Saga house, washed my hands because I high-fived the majority of the players coming straight off the field after their game, and enjoyed half of this order of pizza, where they actually gave me seven slices instead of the original six, for a fraction of the price of pizza had I bought some at the game. But now, moving on to the events of today, 
where we had driven the brother-in-law before driving the wife to the place where she coordinated a wedding just last night. We went to the St. Martin of Tours Parish for Sunday morning mass. Running into my Tito boy and my Tita Mercy. One, two, three, cheese. <laughs> then attending the Knights of Columbus barbecue at this church, where many enjoyed their barbecue burgers and hot dogs with fellow parishioners, while I went to the Saga House to enjoy mine from the comfort of the dining room. Next, almost like a daily ritual nowadays, we caught more action of the Euro 2024 tournament at the house before dropping off the wife at her work for her night shift, then went to walk around the downtown core for a little bit. In the windy weather that we are experiencing at this moment, and after trying to take the TTC subway for the first time in quite a while, I saw a sign that of course said that there were closures between College Station and St. Clair Station. So instead of taking the shuttle buses, which I could see were pretty packed, I decided to walk my way up to the Bloor and Young area. A nice 25 minute walk from my original College Station to get up to this location to take my TTC subway train from here. But guys, one thing that I did find as a positive during my walk was remembering the last time I had one of their hot dogs during one of my trips to Vancouver in the past. I saw that Japa Dog will be opening up a location on Young Street later this summer with their first shop in Toronto open at a location close by. So guys, I'm very hopeful that I'll be able to visit one of their Toronto locations sometime in the near future. And I'll definitely keep y'all posted if and when I do. But anyways, before we wrap it up for the night, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I remember I would always visit whenever I would be babysat in my younger days by my Tita Luisa. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Chrissy. Happy birthday, Chrissy. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So guys, getting home last night and seeing that I got this notice of a water main being broken, meaning that the whole condo didn't have any access to water or air conditioning for the night. Although it was worrying, I did get in a decent sleep on the couch and saw that this issue that we had earlier has been resolved. Look guys, I got my water back. Anyways, staying in all day, pretty much editing live from last week videos, before I go in for my first of a scheduled two night shifts tonight, I got word from the wife that for the first time since this live from last week episode a couple years back, that the mini is gonna look all brand new the next time I see it. With the wife making an appointment for the car to get cleaned and detailed. And yeah, continuing with the tradition that I've had over the past couple of days, I still managed to catch some more dramatic action from the Euro 2024 tournament this afternoon. Calafiori, Fratesi. Last minute goal by Italy to stay in the tournament. And guys, after that exciting moment of events, in order to get ready for my night shift tonight, we're just going to wrap up this week's Live From Last Week episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. 
And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there. And we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.